on one resize AI, boom, it's gonna blow your mind, my friends. Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for stopping by. I'm Jim, if you're new here, great to meet you. I appreciate you swinging by. This is a first look video at On One Resize AI, which is coming soon. And let me tell you, if you're interested in resizing your photos, this is the app for that. I mean, I gotta be honest, I had, so I had a um, preview meeting with them recently where they walked through the product and they showed it to me and you know they're they're doing it all and i'm looking at it and i'm like that looks pretty good you know it looks great i i i like it you know it's kind of like getting in someone else's car and letting them take you for a test drive you know you're in someone's car and you're like yeah it drives nice i guess i mean it's in the passenger seat it's kind of hard to tell i now have the product and when i'm in that driver's seat i'm like whoa this thing hums, it's pretty awesome. Let's get into it. To be clear, this is a pre-release copy, which means there's a few things about it that are not in final form. So it's pre-release, it's coming soon. I'll put a link down below to more information if you wanna check it out. But it is uh, it is amazing stuff. It'll, as, uh, as the name implies, it uses AI algorithms based on machine learning, which are gonna help you uh, increase the size of your photos. The cool thing about it is it's gonna help you sharpen and add detail that maybe weren't even there in the original photo. That's what we're gonna walk through. Now, it's a familiar interface, and this is standalone right now. It will be integrated into On One Photo Raw 2022 in a future update, but I've got a couple of photos here I'm gonna show you real quick. These were downloaded from Unsplash. I'll put a link to the artist below, and then I've got my own photo, so I wanna show you. Uh, again, familiar menu. You can do cropping over here if you'd like to, which is one of the main, I'm gonna cancel that but that's one of the main things like perhaps you were shooting a bird like this but you didn't have a long enough lens you need to crop in to get a better photo well then you've got a smaller image that you're working with this will allow you to blow it up and not lose any detail and in fact as I said you'll actually gain detail I will show you that it's got printing presets over here on the left hand side if you want to get to those and then you've got all the controls over here on the right you can see the original photo size and the pixel dimensions right here and then you can come down here and resize to different dimensions if you want to and you can input those there this is defaulting to 12 basically a 12 by 8 which is based on the original size of the photo but you can also come in and choose different options let's say I want to change based on percentage it's currently at 100% which is the original size of this photo but let's say I want to make this a 300% increase so I want to triple the size of this photo so instead of being 3700 pixels wide it, it will now be over 11,000 pixels wide. So if I compare this two dimensions, you can see it's now 37 inch width instead of the 12 that we were at. Or if I compare megapixels, you can see it's now basically an 84 megapixel file. I'm gonna go back to percentage. I'll just use that, but I wanted to point out that you do have options here. But let me show you what we got because the results here are really just fantastic. Now, once you zoom in, you give it a second to sort of catch up, but let me show you the difference in this file. You can see it's it's crisper and cleaner. And if I move down here to see some of these feathers, I think this is where it really shines as well. Some of these really intricate details. But if you look at that, you can just see that it is much crisper. If you look like right in here, it just looks fantastic. And again, this is three times the size of the original photo. The other nice thing is you've got all these other options over here, including sharpening. So I can adjust sharpening. You've got a drop down menu which gives you all these different options it's going to default to that i'm just going to leave that for this photo but look at that i've added some sharpening and now look at that i mean so much crisper so much nicer and look at the bird here i mean honestly this is just look at that there's the original pretty soft smaller file now much sharper much crisper and obviously a lot bigger file now the cool thing is i could come over here to this bird and i could just highlight him and then i can come over here and hit sync and it will sync these adjustments to that other bird so you can basically batch process if you'd like to let's go over here and take a look at this photo let me hit fit and you can see here let me go into photo size and you can see it is a 14,000 megapic, or excuse me, 14,000 pixel wide photo. The original was 4,800 because again, I scaled it 3x, synced the adjustments from one to the other. But if I zoom in and you take a look at this guy, look at this bird. Let me show you the before and after. I'll turn off preview. There it is. I mean, it looks much softer. I mean, obviously it doesn't look bad. I mean, it's a beautiful photo to be honest, but it's a little bit soft when you zoom in because remember, I've increased it 3x. There it is before doing this increase or enlargement, 
and there it is now. And that's including the sharpening. If I turn off the sharpening, it's still, let me show you the preview without sharpening. There it is before, and there it is after. Much crisper, and if I do the sliding window, you can see that quite well. I mean, these little feathers, they just look fantastic. And if I add that sharpening back in, I mean, honestly, it just gets crazy crisp and beautiful. Again, keep in mind, you've got all these adjustments here in this sharpening drop-down menu. The other nice thing is you can print directly from here. You've got tiling and gallery wrap options. You can add film grain if you want to, but you can do an export or a print in this bottom right-hand menu. You can click export, and that brings up the familiar export dialog. If you want to do that and send it to a print shop, or you can just click on the print option and bring up the print menu, and you can see you've got this printer here. I've just got an office printer connected, so you've got all kinds of options here in terms of how you want to print. So crop, enlarge, sharpen, print directly from the app. I love how they're doing this. And because they're going to integrate it into On One Photo Raw 2022, you're going to have full spectrum capability across basically what I would call the life cycle of the photo from import to denoise. Remember, they have no noise AI, which is world class noise reduction, all the way through all the powerful editing and masking tools, all the way to the end, which is when you would use resize to upscale it, sharpen it, export it, or print it. So you've got that full spectrum life cycle. Um, I just love this. I just think it looks amazing. I want to show you on my own photo. So this is the basic photo. I've got no settings applied here. It's a 6,000 pixel wide image from Prague. So it's a 24 megapixel camera. I shot it with the Sony a number of years ago. Nothing wrong with the size, but let's say I wanted to make this huge for some reason, right? And so if I zoom in 100, you can see, I mean, it looks fine, honestly. I've got no sharpening, nothing applied. You know, it looks fine, but if I were to zoom in a lot, you're going to see that it it's kind of soft over here. Some of these buildings, they just don't look amazing, right? They look fine. Um, and this stuff looks kind of soft when you zoom in. Let me show you how you can actually improve these pictures so much. So again, I'm going to stick on percentage, but don't forget you have all these different options here. But let's say I want to bring this about uh, 300. Um, I'll just pick 300 here uh, and upscale it. And again, by the way, you've got all these uh, drop down options here, pixels per inch. And there's a menu here on this right hand side where you can choose some essential presets if you'd like to. But I'm going to stick with what I've got there. I've increased it 300%, so that now the pixel dimensions are 18,000 by 12,000 instead of 6,000 by 4,000. Again, I scaled it 3x. If I zoom in 100, let me show you. You gotta give it a second to catch up, but it is overall pretty quick. I'm gonna stop there so that you can see what this looks like. Give this a second to basically resync and recalculate, and there you go. You can see it coming through. Look how crisp that is. Let me show you this preview. There it is off and there it is now. Let me show you this sliding window. You can see, and again, I haven't sharpened yet. The sharpening is still turned off, but look at this. Look at that. I mean, it's just crisp. The thing I love is look over here at the city in the background. Remember how soft that was? Let me zoom in a little bit more. Let's go something like that. Let me come over here and show you this city. It's just way crisper and that would just look amazing increased and uh, printed large. So let me go back to 100. I'm gonna zoom back over here and I wanna add a little bit of sharpening. Can you see how much crisper that got? And same with this background. So everything just crisps up. As I said, it basically improves the quality. I mean, it's a fine image, it's 24 megapixel camera. It's not really out of date in terms of being really old, but it's certainly a massive improvement to the photo. So I don't know what's in the water in Portland. These people at On One are doing some amazing things. No noise AI, all the powerful editing tools that you have in On One. And then of course now with Resize AI, they kind of bookend, for lack of a better word, your editing process. It's an amazing, powerful combo, and I love what they're doing here. And I think the results speak for themselves, frankly. If you just look at all the crisp detail here, I just, uh, I'm just floored when I look at it. And like I said, you give it a, a, you know, a couple of seconds to build, but honestly, it's pretty quick. So powerful AI, sharpen, increase in size, just blow this thing up huge, put it on a wall, whatever you want to do. That's how On One Resize AI works. This is kind of a first look preview. I'll come back and do some more stuff around it, but I just got this. Again, remember, this is a pre-release copy, so everything is not final, but this gives you a general look and feel for the technology and what they're doing. And honestly, like I said, it's kind of mind blowing. So I'm excited about it. I hope you are too. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching, my friends. I'll be back soon with more stuff about On One. You guys take care of yourselves. Thanks for swinging by today. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time, and adios.